what up everybody welcome back to another beautiful day at the setup guys so as you may know on saturdays we are closing at 3 p.m now 3 p.m because we want to go home early we want to be with the kids or whatever and we're off sundays and mondays but you know a lot of people show up on saturdays the busiest day of the week so we're starting a new thing we're probably gonna on saturdays we're gonna have little little lunch break little cookouts or whatever just for the guys so that way we don't have to go take an hour lunch and then we lose out on an hour or whatever We'll eat while we work. Huh? See, just for the guys, nobody show up now. I'm just playing. No, I don't care. I bought like just for the employees. Just for the employees. Just for the employees. Era lo que está haciendo mi dad. Para lunch, bacon wrap, hot dogs. Se quema el 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 pinche el dip pan, el microphone. Un little hot dogs for the guys. The guys just finished doing upper control arms, tie rods, ball joints, everything on this truck. About to call the customer and tell them to come pick it up. Guys, if you're ever doing ball joints on a 2500 HD, lower ones especially, don't do them. They are a pain in the ass. They are a pain in the ass to remove. To put on, they're easy. To remove, god damn bro, we can't feel our arms, man. It was bad to take them off, and I mean really bad. But we took care of it. I'm fixing to call the customer, tell them to come get it real quick. Uh, I'm gonna test drive it and then go from there. All right, guys, so that's it for this one. Top of the line parts from my boys over at Napa. I already called the customer. I told him the truck is ready. He is more than welcome to come get it because we are trying to get out today at 3 o'clock. And then right now, we got a 2020 GMC Sierra SLT that we're gonna do some one inch lift shackles. Someone had did a leveling kit on it. And it didn't go as planned. So it's squatted in the bag. We're gonna take care of that real quick, get this man going, and go from there. La Cheyenne, pa. Clean little truck. On this one, we're fixing to take care of, what was it? Oh, the train horn. Hook it all up, put some, put the new wiring, new valve, and get his train horn going. We had did the step notch and shot relocators a while back. Y'all check it out. No, we didn't do the tubs, and we did not cut that hole. It's a clean little truck. Y'all follow him on IG. Jazzy underscore Moonies. Spin the fire, metal. Yummy. I'm going to put that there. Little hot dogs. Perros calientes, that's what you said? Yep. No, because I'm going to say, man. Ni me, bueno, sí, sí me gustan, pero no se me antojaban y luego ya ahorita que lo estoy mirando, los hueles, ¿verdad? se te hace agua la boca, con madre. Pero cuando van a, a las tiendas, lo están vendiendo afuera, a mí tampoco me gustan, ni más fácil, y hueles el olor. Y... Ay, huele con madre. Con madre. Mira, Ulises, ¿se parece el tuyo? ¿Dónde está? Ah, oh, está hasta allá atrás. Damn it, never mind. Joke's not funny when he's not here to listen to it. All right, let's get the cooking real quick so we can eat. You know a hot dog, bro? You know what I'm Yeah. So what's up? Is that, is that Instagram to you, El, that's behind Yeah. Yeah. Y'all follow my boy on Instagram. He has a clean-ass truck. His dad is Desi Walting. He's the guy that sells all the, like, the GM interior parts, uh, mirrors, seats, todo el pedo. So y'all go follow him. Go follow his dad. I'll put their Instagram down at the bottom right here. You see it? Right there. I'm going to put it right there so y'all go follow him. You guys ain't shit. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Same shit play. I just grabbed the nappies. We're going to the Gucci store now. Burberry. Burberry when Wednesday? Wednesday. The private event. And you invited me to a private event at Burberry, right? Yep. Wednesday? Wednesday at six. I told him the most expensive pair of shoes I have was like 80 bucks. I'm going to walk in there looking like a cheap ass. <laughs> Look at mine. Yeah, those are your work shoes. Those are my going out shoes. Limited edition Air Force One? Going out shoes. Yeah, whatever. Hey, <laughs> you? Huh? Didn't them hoes just come out? The what? Yeah, didn't them hoes just come out? Yeah. Come out like a year ago. What? This? Yeah. Hell no. I haven't seen them. They probably restocked or salieron otra vez. What are you doing, boss man? Quick little install. Or you know, a train horn. Oh, we're going to use the Which one? Those that are in the little box. It's on heat shrink. Oh. It's on the hood. Those, the, the heat shrink ones, I'd rather use them for like 
Under the truck. Under the meter? No, no, under the truck. Like, para que no le entre moisture ni nada. Oh. No lo conecto todavía, ¿verdad? No, nomás fíjate que sí, que de todo. Ya lo puedo conectar yo acá todo, ¿verdad? Okay. Che, well, you gotta check because it's supposed to fit on a three, so I think that's a little bit bigger. So, we're gonna put it on and off switch right here, don't that? Right here, right here. So, put it. We'll put a little switch right here, apuntando para abajo, that way it can turn on the compressor. And then we found this little momentary button burp, burp, that we're gonna put right here. Hopefully it fits. If not, we'll put it somewhere down at the bottom. But we're wiring up, we're wiring up this little train horn that the truck already had, but the wiring was trash. So let's start wiring this thing up. Ya ver cómo soy el train horn ahorita que acabemos. All right, so we finished this one. Unfortunately, the compressor that he brought us did not work. So I told him, look, go swap out the compressor, bring it to us, and we'll install it for free. He's like, I bet. He was like, if I, can't, if I don't have no time, he was like, can someone swap it out for me? And y'all still warranty to wear? I said, yeah, don't worry about it. We got you. <sighs> where's everybody at? Oh, I was like, where's everybody at? You're going to take a shower in here, right? Yeah, I'm going to take a shower real quick. So for those of you that don't know, we actually have a shower here at the shop. I'm gonna take a quick shower because we are going to my sister and brother-in-law's house. We usually use this shower at storage, but yeah, I'm gonna take a quick shower real quick. Mola balas, los kiwis. Anything you gotta say to the camera, babe? Happy Easter, everyone. That's it. Me no estoy jugando con bebitos. No manches. No, I'm just kidding. I just want to say thank you to everyone that has placed orders. Um, I wish everyone good luck, and we'll continue to ship your orders as fast as we can. All right. There you go, so y'all got it from Mama herself. We're shipping everything out as quick as we can. Uh, if for some reason you don't get something or anything like that, the, the other day a guy commented on a video and he said, hey man, I didn't get my order or whatever. We looked it up and it was a guy that I had personally texted myself and my wife had called and he never replied to us. We were trying to tell him that the shirt that he ordered was accidentally inventoried wrong and that we wanted to give him something else in exchange or give him a refund, but he never answered and it just so ended up being that it was him that had commented. So I need to reach out to that guy and let him know. Guys, uh, we are having a small little issue with our shirts. Uh, bear with me, cause someone else is gonna make us our shirts real quick and we're gonna go from there. Uh, to me, it's pretty sad that you pay someone thousands and thousands of dollars to make your shirts. They mess them up and instead of taking responsibility from them, they don't even reply. They leave you on red, they don't answer your calls. To me, that's pretty shady. Uh, we're not perfect. I understand that everybody makes mistakes. We make mistakes, but it's how you take care of that mistake. It's how you make up for it that defines a person. If you don't do nothing about it and you're just like, whatever, I don't care, that's bullshit. To me, that's bullshit. Um, but it is what it is. We got somebody else that's going to make all our shirts. Large, extra large, 2X and 3X. If you order them, you're going to wait about a week or two before you get them because we have someone else making them now. Uh, some other shirts that we did, we didn't check and they came out messed up, but oh well, we're going to take an L on those shirts. I'll probably end up just picking random people and throwing some shirts in there. The logo is off a little bit in the back. It's not the shirts that have the setup sauce in the back. It's the other ones that say the setup on them. It's the ones that say the setup on them. The logo is off a little bit and it's crooked. We're going to take an L on the shirt. So whoever orders the shirts, we're just going to randomly pick shirts and just throw extra shirts in there. Like I said, we're gonna take an L on them. We got screwed on those, and it is what it is. Uh, I'm probably gonna end up giving my guys some of the shirts just so they could use them for work, uh, give some to my family. But I am gonna get, it's a hundred and, it's like a hundred shirts, so maybe it is. Maybe we should show up. Huh? I said maybe we should show up to their shop. I ain't worried about it. We'll take that L. It's like fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars worth of t-shirts that we're gonna take an L on. It is what it is. That just means that somebody's gonna get extra shirts in their order, so. Maybe if they're drunk, they won't be able to tell that they are crooked. We are randomly going to pick somebody out of the bunch and just throw extra shirts in there. It's a free shirt, so if the logo's off a little bit, the ones that say... Oh, they, these, right? No, no. no. It's the one that just has the logo on the back that says the setup. You're going to get an extra shirt, so just random people that order t-shirts, I'm going to throw in an extra shirt. If you ordered a large, extra large, 2X or 3X, 
just bear with me as we have someone else that's already making them for us so huge shout out to him as soon as i get him i'm gonna tag him on here but it is what it is let me get these guys paid because it is saturday we're supposed to leave at three it's four o'clock and we gotta get the hell out of here all right see that Woo bam come get sauced up just took a shower real quick i'm fixing to head over to my wife's side of the family go have some fun but before that I heard that Micheladas Lopez was across the street, so we're gonna go hit them up real quick because I need a preparada. Obviously, it's gonna be with a Topo Chico Agua Mineral. The mango one tastes amazing, and they ship everywhere, bro. So if you need some, hit up Micheladas Lopez, get you some. Also, guys, check out Static Leo's Single Cab SS Clone. We are done with it. It gave us hell because the drop on it was super ghetto. Uh, but we had to get my boy Leo right, and this thing looks pretty damn dope. Check it out. It's missing the headlights and the hood hinges, so we couldn't take it to go get a line. Because we put all that on the OG when we went to HPT shootout. So I'm waiting for my boy Leo to bring back all the parts so we can slap it all on there, take it to go get a line, and have him riding right. So we went one inch lower all the way around and we fixed the whole complete drop kit because it was trash. Guys, don't cheap out on your drop kit. The last thing you need to do is come pay a lot of money to get that fixed. Let's hit up Micheladas Lopez right down the street real quick and get us a preparada. Guys, y'all check them out. They are posted at Raso Liquor Store, literally right across the street from the shop. ¿De qué nos vamos a llevar ahora? Preparada, sola. ¿Con zancudos o en zancudos? Now that, that's just their display, don't, they're not selling that. Let's see one. Extra, 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 extra con moscas. Yo quiero una así regular. Yo quiero una de agua mineral de mango. A ver si no me pongo pedo con uh, agua mineral. Guys, if you haven't already, follow them on Instagram at Lopez Michelas HTX. Like I said, they ship everywhere and they got merch too. They hey, your dad said that y'all started getting like shirts and all that stuff too. That made. Cool. So y'all check it out. They got shirts now. They got hats and y'all ship. We ship nationwide, yeah. We ship not only, not only the merch, but the micheladas and the carne seca. Everything. everything. Everything gets shipped. So they ship nationwide. So if you need something, Lopez Micheladas HTX on Instagram. On Facebook, it's Lopez Micheladas HTX. And Twitter, that's the little bird, right? All right, so even on Twitter, Lopez Micheladas. Y'all check them out. Might have to copy me this one and this one. We'll see right now. Ahora sí, ¿no? Ooh! Damn, what the hell was that? Am I gonna run it over a kid and shit? Nah. It was a rock. <laughs> it was a kid. Nah, it was a cat. Alexis, she ran over a cat, Alexis. You know? <laughs> <Did I? laughs> Ooh, wee. Damn, you're drinking and driving, man. I can't even taste it. It don't taste like beer, so it's not beer, right? You like it? Of course I like it. Está toda feliz siempre que le dan su López Michelada, you know? Delicious. Just a quick FYI, I don't want y'all to think that these guys are like going to give me stuff so that uh, I could like promote them on the videos or on Instagram or anything like that. Just a FYI, lo que es Julio, la esposa, el hijo, la hija, like all of them that work that business, man, they have always taken care of us. Even when it's like a last minute thing, like I think even before Thanksgiving, it was Christmas or something, we were at our house and uh, was it? Yeah, when they sent me something? Yeah, well, even that, but when, even when, when we had ordered, it was like last minute, oh man, we're not delivering no more, but. Oh yeah, I think so. Like these people, man, they go out of their way to keep their customers happy. And one thing that I really like about them is that they are, where are you going? You want some pizza, Alexis? Yeah. One thing about them, man, is that they're real, like honest, real, humilde, like, they are genuinely good people and that's why i support them 110 percent like one time i know what was it you had just had the baby or something like that right she had just had the baby man and take it like we don't go to their house and party with them they don't come to my house and party with me like you know yeah we know them and we support each other 100 percent, and we like them a lot you know what i'm saying like we get along really good is it closed walk-in cooler and freezer rentals yeah, it's no. Well, that's closed right there. No, that's open, babe. It is. Yeah, you just gotta park over here. Take like none of that. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't, 
we're not fam like our families aren't like oh my god we know we go visit each other we don't we go do this we go do that they are just genuinely good people they come and support us whenever we need something we support them whenever they need something and when my wife had the baby they knew that my wife couldn't drink or nothing like that right and my wife loves micheladas my girl will not sit there and drink beer like by itself she don't she can't stand it she can't do it but if she drinks a michelada with mix she'll drink you know two three if four she's already like huh? slurring her words and i don't know what else but to make a long story short these guys literally made her a little care package and they personally delivered it to my to me to give to my wife like dude that means the world to us like little just little gestures like that little gifts like that to me that was worth a million dollars like especially because it's my wife you know what i'm saying that's that's my other half you know what i'm saying she's the other half of the shop like she takes care of a lot of stuff that you guys really don't see you know what i'm saying so when someone does something like that that they go out of their way to get her a little gift to give to my wife because now they know that she can actually drink micheladas again like who does that nobody else has ever done that we've supported a lot of people before and that's not happened and these guys make it happen they are generally good people and that's why i support them the other day someone told me on a comment on instagram man then people must pay you with micheladas to put their name out there no first of all i'm not even big like on the youtube or instagram or any there's people that have way more subscribers way more followers triple quadruple 100 times more than i do and they support me you know what i'm saying it's not like oh my god roman put me on instagram and oh my god i got a lot of viewers or i mean i got a lot of followers because of him or whatever sometimes people do tell me like hey dude you know you mentioned me the other day and people started following that's cool man i appreciate that like that's badass that you're telling me that because that's what I want. I want everybody to grow in this industry. I want everybody to grow in whatever business they have, whether it's candy, Michelada, clothes, whatever it is, uh, anything. I want y'all to grow. This, like I've told plenty of people, the sun comes out for everybody and the sun could shine on more than one person. Remember when they sent you that basket or whatever that they sent to your house after you had the baby? Yes. Right, I'm telling you that that's, a, that's worth a lot to us because that means a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, who goes out of their way to do something like that? So, yeah, guys, make sure that you give them a follow. Make sure that you go give them a like. Order something off of their website. Get it shipped to your house. Trust me, you will not regret it. These Michelas are awesome. I'll catch y'all on Tuesday whenever we come back to the shop because I didn't get to record a lot of the stuff that we had going on this Saturday. But I know y'all going to be watching this pretty late. So happy Easter, like my wife said earlier. And enjoy the time with your family, guys. Uh, I'll catch y'all on Tuesday and I'll start the video again on Tuesday, guys. What's up, everybody? We're back guys it is currently tuesday but we had to take a little break it was easter and i couldn't finish off a video or anything like that my boy eddie and mondo are hard at work right now they're converting a air suspension stock ram 1500 into coilovers and coils in the back because the customer has had nothing but problems out of it check out this truck real quick uh we just slapped on 26 by 14 intro id wheels brush face clear coated uh we lifted it up a little bit more in the front and we had to trim the bumper because it wasn't fitting so we don't like doing that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna send the truck off to my boy Palace Customs. I'm gonna put his link right here at the bottom. That's the guy that's gonna paint the giveaway truck as well. He's gonna take the pieces that we cut off of it. He's gonna remold the bumper and then body work it and color match the whole front end again. That way it looks like it's factory. Like all the, the factory moldings are there and everything. So that way there's no rubbing issues and it's gonna look good as well. So y'all check out the truck. Swipe, 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 swipe. Just picked up some bands, come and come again, come again. They do what I do, I'm like Simon says. Yeah, I'm the running man, rapping rubber bands, rubber bands. They do what I do, I'm like Simon says. They do what I do, I'm like Simon says. Like Simon says, swerving, making plays, go Ferrari red. Never out my zone, touchdown in my hands. That is right, another truck on 26 by 14. Huge shout out to Intro Wheels for hooking us up with these wheels for my boy Felipe. We finally got them on here. Uh, we slapped the tires on them, mounted them and everything. We saw new sensors, so there's no lights or anything like that. This thing looks pretty damn sick. It's like a 20, hold on, I'll tell you right now. All right, I just wanted to make sure, so I had to check the VIN tag. So it's a 2017 GMC Denali 2500 HD diesel. It does have a six inch lift kit, which it needs to go up a little bit higher in the front. The back is perfect. 
but that's for future plans i already talked to him he said he's down to do it we're going to take care of it and we're going to build a set of custom traction bars that are go from the front to the back so guys i wanted to talk to you as well after y'all seen this truck we've had a little problem with the t-shirts and i didn't want to do this but i'm gonna go inside the office where my wife is at and i'm gonna explain to you a little bit of what's going on all right guys so check it out eddie and mondo are gonna take these off right now they're gonna take this off and replace the shocks as well as we got a new kit we got this kit from strut masters uh strut masters is an online store that we've gotten these kids before and had good success with them they work pretty damn good we haven't had any issues so far so we ordered that kit for this customer and they're fixing it uninstall this and then install the new kit and i'll say mondo where you at mondo where my boy at? where my boy at? what's up mondo what you got going on we're gonna take these bags off and then take the shocks off put the new springs and the new shocks and then i don't know i guess bypass the air it's right there the air management thing yeah the air management yeah so this kit like mondo said he's right uh he already knows this he's been through this before it does come with a little like a little box with some wires that we got to hook up to the actual factory harness and that eliminates the air ride so he's not going to get any lights or anything like that the compressor is not going to go off in the middle of the night or anything like that thinking that there's nothing installed so i'm gonna let them get to the back real quick i'm gonna go inside and explain to you a little bit of what we got going on with those shirts guys so i just want to let y'all know me and my wife had been sitting down and we're talking about everything that's been going on over there so unfortunately some of you were like oh man the extra large and the larger whatever shirts uh sold out immediately well i'm gonna be 100 percent honest with you some of the shirts were not up to my standards like there was some bleeding through on the uh i guess it's called the uh the screen printing they were off center they were crooked and then not only that the setup shirts the ones that have the setup logo and then the setup logo in the back oh you got one right now ruby let me see come here and then grab the baby real quick i yeah, check it out real quick so like that one right there Can see no that one's not crooked that one's actually good well you have your shirt on all crooked not much just <laughs> but yeah that one right there that one's good and then but we ordered how many was it the total order total we ordered 10 20 40 65 95 100 so we ordered 100 shirts right that was the setup shirt with the logo right here and then the big logo in the back that was just a setup we ordered 100 shirts from that specific company i ain't gonna mention no names but out of those 100 shirts what like 72 of them or whatever were bad at least uh, like 72 of them were bad uh the logo was crooked and pushed off to the side and then on the set of saw shirts it had a whole bunch of bleeding through and stuff like that now take it i've never had an issue with these guys uh man they were cool people and i wasn't gonna post this video but when i wrote to him and i told him now you know what I'll, I'll read it to you real quick guys it's not like me to do these kind of videos i'll never do this i mean i understand everybody makes mistakes or whatever but check it out you can see it right here i'm gonna cover their name but look they read red 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 and they never wrote back to me uh i even called them they didn't answer me first message right was hey what's up bro i was like hey man we have a slight little problem with the shirts i said it's just the shirts that have our logo in the front and in the back so we're running across a lot of them that the logo is slanted pretty bad so hold on let me send you a picture right now i uh, send them a picture as you can see right there The guy read the first two messages, never wrote back. I sent him a picture of the of the shirt, never wrote back. Next day, I write him a question mark. He read it, never wrote back. Called him, never answered me. Saturday at 11.55 a.m., I'm like, and I'll, and I'll read it to you. I said, like, hey, bro, it's cool if you can't help me out. I understand everyone makes mistakes. I said, I'm guessing I'm going to have to take a loss on these shirts. But if you can't do me a favor, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I was like, but do me a favor and send me the setup sauce file. I said, man, I would appreciate it. I said, I need to make another larger order to replace all the shirts that we lost money on uh, with this past order. And I'll just go about my business, you know? Thanks. So me expecting him to be like, hey man, you know what? 
I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry we couldn't, you know, we couldn't help you or, hey, we apologize because, you know, we were in a hurry and we might have accidentally did them wrong or printed them wrong. Whatever the case may be, if the guy would have said, hey, man, I apologize for what happened, man. Let me see what I can do to take care of you or something like that. I would have never made this video. But the guy never called me, never texted me, never wrote back to me. And the minute that I asked him to send me the file so I could go somewhere else, he emails me the file. Like, that to me is pretty, like, that's some pretty shady shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to think about it. These shirts ain't cheap. And when you're doing 70-something shirts, and that was only the setup shirts, right? Yeah. The ones with the setup sauce, I think it's like 42 shirts already that are bad. And it's like... Out of 120 some shirts for the setup sauce shirts that we order and then 100 shirts that we order for the setup, we're at, seven. I think it was 72 and like 42 or 40, no, 47, I think. I forgot. I lost count, but it was 47 and 72, if I'm not mistaken. If you multiply that it times what he charged me, yeah, that dude, that adds up. We're a small shop. Like, yeah, it's not going to make us, I mean, it's not going to break us or anything like that. And it's cool. You know what? Guess what? Some of my employees are going to get free shirts some of my family members are going to get free shirts every once in a while when an order comes in hey you know what if we have that size i'm gonna get one and put one in there i'm gonna put an extra shirt in there for you guys if you don't mind wearing a shirt with the crooked logo <laughs> but that's what i'm gonna end up doing with these shirts man i hate that i have to make this video like i said i'm not gonna mention any names it is what it is um if you want to know who i'm not gonna say his name but if you really care so much about who did them you can literally just go on social media and find out but i didn't say that out loud but yeah guys so i apologize so if your shirt doesn't say that it's shipped out yet it's because of that uh we started going through them now take it that the day that i told my wife to go over there and get them was the day that she before you were leaving to mexico right yes. it was the day before she was leaving to mexico it was the day before the shootout uh she was leaving to mexico and i was at the shop here getting everything ready for the shootout and uh, I didn't want to ask her to do that for me because I know that she was going to Mexico because her grandma had passed away and I didn't want to put nothing on her shoulders. But my wife being the good person that she is, she was like, no, you know what? Hey, I'll go get them real quick before I leave. I said, Bet, thank you. I told her, do me a favor, open them and check them. So these guys tell my wife like, oh no, we already checked all of them. They grab them and they load them up in their truck. So my wife's like, hey, the guys were nice enough to check all of them. He did, he literally told me. Like, they're all good nothing's wrong with them he's like yes we checked them they're all good yeah i don't know if y'all heard or not but she literally said that she asked the guy are you sure you checked them they're all good the guy said yes we checked all of them they're all good cool you know what we don't doubt people you know what i'm saying we're human uh people do make mistakes and i understand that we make mistakes but at the end of the day when we make a mistake i go above and beyond to take care of it like yeah to fix it whether it's hey you know what dude hey, don't pay me yeah, and it wasn't our first time. The first time, shoot, it was... We spent thousands and thousands of dollars with this guy. Put it that way. Uh, will we ever do that again? No, not with him. Not at all. But um, I'm going to tell you a quick little story. Real brief. A long time ago, in our Northside location, we had a customer's truck parked outside, right? Another customer decides to leave. Well, he doesn't tell nobody that his truck don't have brakes. We didn't even know. All we did was when he pulled it in there... We jacked it up. We did what we had to do. We jacked it back down. He finished. He took off. Well, he leaves and he hits one of my customer's trucks, but the truck's parked like outside our location and everything. Still, hey, you know what? It's an, you know, we had it. It is what it is. The thing was that the guy was supposed to give us the insurance. He's like, yeah, let me go get it. Well, he started ghosting me, right? Nice C10. Uh, the owner of that truck actually passed away. May he rest in peace. But my last week, I get a call from his wife. And she was like, hey, you know what? She's like, I never followed up with you and you never followed up with me. Like, I want to get this truck fixed and this and that. And take it, I was supposed to have gotten this fixed a long time ago, even though it wasn't me that, it wasn't us that hit the truck. It was actually a customer. I still wanted to take care of it. I was like, no, you know what? I'm not going to let her leave like that. I'm not going to be a a-hole and just be like, nah, whatever. I'm talking about years later. We didn't hit the truck. The customer ghosted on us. I could have simply said, hey, you know what? I ain't fixing that. We didn't, we didn't, we weren't the ones that hit it. We didn't do nothing like that. Nah, you know what I did? I said, hey, you know what? I'm sorry. Running a business is hectic. It's crazy. Like, I've missed birthdays, anniversaries, get-togethers, family events, holidays, stuff like that because of the shop. And I'm sorry, but I want to take care of this. 
do you want to meet up Monday? She said, yeah, that's fine, whatever. We went to my boy Palis, which I put his Instagram down at the bottom, and I'm going to put it down here again. So Palis said, hey, man, bring it to me. I'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. Just get the parts, and we'll get it all fixed up for Cool. You know, it's a 74C10. It's not something that you could just go to the store and, hey, I want a brand new dealer OEM part. No, I want some, I want some good stuff. I asked her, is there a specific brand that you want on the truck that you want me to order? She said, no, as long as it looks the same and everything, I'm okay with that. Cool. Much props to her, and I appreciate that, you know? So we went on Summit Racing. We ordered a new bumper uh, bumper brackets, and the fender had a little light. I, it just got pushed in. So Polly's going to end up fixing that. Oh, and I got her a new light. Did Was it something that probably caused the damage on it or whatever? I don't think so, but I was like, hey, you know what? It has a little scratch, and it just ordered. So we're going to do that. I took care of the problem. Even though it was years ago, there was no paper trail, no nothing like that. I could have easily avoided it and not spent money. I took care of the problem because you know what? Customer service goes a long way. Now, people are going to be like, well, y'all don't even answer the phone over there. You're right. I have a newborn right here, literally standing right in front of me. Right, Bobby? Let me show you real quick. Hold on. <laughs> right, Bobby? Right? That you don't let mommy work? Nope. No, not at all. <laughs> don't stick your tongue out, bro. Make it cheap, Bobby? You right? You don't let mommy work? <laughs> So as much as I want my wife here answering phones and doing everything, she can't do it. She has to do it till after she get the kids get out of school, which one's right here. Say what's up. Hi. Send a shout out to your homie. What was his name? Caesar. Uh, what's the other one? Art tiles. <laughs> Art tiles. Really? What's his name? Jacob. Jacob. Ja Charles. Yeah, Charles. What's the other one? Arturo. 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 Charles. Blah, 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 blah. Jacob. So these these little kids they're pretty cool. I actually like those kids. Uh, Caesar, Charles, Jacob, and Arturo. Uh, shout out to them. My daughter said what's up. Uh, she's here uh, shipping out orders. But yeah, guys, my wife waits for my kids to get out of school. She goes and picks them up, brings them all the way back, so that they can actually keep an eye on the baby and keep them entertained while she tries to ship out your guys' orders along with my daughter and take care of business. Yeah, I know. Customer service as far as answering the phone sucks right now because we don't have anybody in the office to answer the phones. But if you need something, I promise you, if you come through that door, I will gladly take the time away from work and everything to go help you out as much as I can. But back to everything, guys. Long story short, thousands of dollars were literally just thrown out the window. Uh, is it going to hurt the giveaway? No. If I have to dig into my own pocket to actually fix up the giveaway and all that stuff, I'll go ahead and do it. That's just money lost right there. Uh, so good thing is that my boy, El Muchacho de las Gorras, that does all my hats, he does my beanies and stuff like that. He said, hey, man, I heard what happened. F that. Give me the file. I'm going to take care of you. So this guy, which I only do hats and beanies with, heard one of my guys telling another guy the other day what had happened. And he stepped in and said, hey, you know what? I'm going to take care of you, bro. Send me that file. I'm going to take care of you. Like, who does that? You know what I'm saying? Like, I was just speaking of that the other day about Lopez Michelas. Like, they step in and do stuff when they're not supposed to. Or when they don't have to. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. And that's why I support these people 110%. So, huge shout out to El Muchacho de las Gorras, Edgar. My boy Edgar has always done me right, no matter what. He's done me right. And I appreciate that, bro. If you're watching this, huge shout out to you. If you need any embroidery, any DTG, anything like that get with my boy Edgar I'm gonna put his Instagram right here make sure that you go follow him make sure that you give him a call um, I've already shouted him out several times before on the other videos on the hats and stuff like that but it means a lot more to me that he said send me that file man I'm gonna take care of you you know what you shouldn't be leaving your customers like that and your guy that was supplying you with your shirt should be doing that to you so thank you I appreciate it guys long another long story short if you're waiting for your shirt to get shipped out, they're coming. It's only the large, extra large, and 2X, I believe, uh, that we found issues on. All the other ones, well, no, actually, you know what? We haven't even checked the small ones. Uh, we'll go through them right now again. Like I said, some of these shirts uh, we're not going to do. The guys that ordered the setup shirts um, that we've already shipped out, we've checked them. They're good. So hopefully they're hundred percent. If not, give me a shout, bro. I'll pay for it to get shipped back and I'll, I'll we'll, we'll do something, but maybe our vision is a little yeah, off. maybe our vision is a little off. Nah, but now we checked them and they should be good. So guys, I'm going to end this video here. This is just a video that I had. It ain't even nothing. I'm going on what? How long has this video been recording for? Mm, doesn't show. 
Oh, 14 minutes. Guys, this is a long ass video. I'm gonna cut it down short real quick. It's not gonna be anything cool that we're doing out there, but I just wanted you guys to know the truth on what was going on. To me, that was some shady ass caca and that's not cool, man. You don't treat customers like that. You don't take their money and just ruin their, their stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I understand we're human, we're a shop. Uh, if we ever did anything bad, if you're a customer of mine and we ever did anything bad, man, comment down below what we did to make it better. I can't think of anything that we've done that we've actually, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, other than taking longer than expected or whatever. That's but we're, any yeah, but that's at any shop, and we're fixing that right now. So it's all good. You know what I'm saying? We, we got a badass schedule going on right now, and we're scheduling everything accordingly, and everybody's going to be happy with the new schedules that we're doing for their trucks. But, guys, thank you, and I appreciate you guys for understanding, man. I apologize, really. It sucks that I can't ship out your orders for those sizes immediately because there's nothing to be sold because we're sitting on a pile of shirts that ain't that ain't good. They're trash. Uh, like I said, though, we're going to end up giving some of those shirts away in the orders. So uh, I'm going to ask Edgar right now how long it's going to take him to make the new shirts. However long he tells me, I'm going to go ahead and add them back on there with a little in parentheses saying the expected date that they're going to ship out so that you can get your entries in. I don't want the month to end and then May's going to be the last month to enter. I want you guys to get your entries in. Uh, bear with me, bear with my wife, bear with my daughter, bear with all of us as we get this out because it wasn't our fault. It wasn't something that we could handle. Uh, we got screwed and it is what it is. So thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Huge shout out to these girls right here for... <laughs> <laughs> you're dying to come out on the video so huge shout out to all these girls that little man over there too for keeping my wife busy here at the shop uh thank you guys and uh catch you on the next one